At South by Southwest Sydney, innovators, experts, policymakers, and researchers across industries gather to discuss accelerating and emerging technologies, from AI and quantum to space, agritech, cyber, clean energy, and more. We came from the United States Study Center Strategic Technologies Program to explore what is currently shaping tech policy and what we should be thinking and talking about next. Hi, I'm Johanna Lim. And I'm Olivia Shen. We're from the Strategic Technologies Program at the US Study Center. And this week, we're at South by Southwest Sydney. This week, we had the chance to engage with some of the most incredible panelists, keynote speakers, and some of Australia's most innovative startups. One of the key highlights for me was actually seeing Matilda in action, which is the first Australia-built large language model developed by Maine Code. One of the questions I had coming into South by Southwest was how is AI going to impact the workforce and creativity? The message was clear. The opportunities are immense, but only if we get it right. A consistent message was that AI is going to automate tasks and augment jobs, but this is consistent with major technology shifts throughout history. It won't replace what makes us human, such as our imagination, creativity, and trust. What do we need to do? We need to double down on our soft skills, like critical thinking, humility, and confidence. These will matter more than ever. One of my key takeaways from South by Southwest is that some of the technologies we think of as science fiction are much closer than we think. An example of this is artificial intelligence being able to build other AIs. And if AIs get better and better at doing that, we could see an intelligence explosion as soon as 2026. Another example is robotic limbs. I got to shake a robotic hand here at South By, and it was really impressive to see how it was fully integrated to the rest of the human body, including the ability to sense touch. And my final example is the ability to distill a human brain and preserve it using neurotechnology and cryogenics. Now, some of these technologies may seem crazy wild, but they are much closer than we realize, and they just haven't reached mass scale adoption yet. The part that I've enjoyed most this week is actually speaking to Australian founders. These are students and young people who are building surgical stents that can dissolve. They're using AI and sensors to monitor the health of beehives. And they're building applications that gamify end-of-life care and financial literacy. To see the passion and the entrepreneurship of these young founders was really inspiring about this week. South by Southwest reminded us how quickly technology is reshaping our world and that policy has to keep pace. At the United States Study Center, we will continue to explore how Australia can harness innovation responsibly and stay ahead in this new tech age.